Chalene, a fractal personality designed to be your guide. Just listen to me and you won't get yourself killed. Probably. I'm new at this too. Any landing you can away from is a good one, eh? Welcome to the Genesis Simulation. Here you'll be tested across five biomes, each with its own dangers and rewards. I'll be with you every step of the way. Interact with me when you want to teleport from one biome to another, or when you want to spend some of the hexagons you'll earn for complete missions. Those missions are how the simulation tests you, how you prove you're the ultimate survivor. First though, we have some exploring ahead of us. Ready to go and walk about? Oh, well, there we go, you guys. We're in, we're in our genesis now. So, anyways, what is going on, guys? It's Wava here, and welcome to Arc Genesis. Things are already starting off different here with this new, like, like assistant companion, whatever you want to call this Helena, like H L N A, like thing over here. Interesting stuff. Anyways, it's me, Thanos. <laughs> I'm gonna heck and finger snap all the dinosaurs out of existence over here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But, uh, welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved, you guys. We're here in Genesis, like I said. Genesis Part 1, that is. And I'm, I spawned in whatever the first biome was. I think this is called, like, Bog or something like that. Looks like a weird swamp biome. And we've got some Parasiratheriums over here. And it's got, like, a giraffe, like, texture on it. Interesting. Uh, but the HLNA thing said that we have, like, mission. Oh, God, I've got all this stuff over here. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how huge I am, too. We have, like, a mission list over here. And I've got, like, negative one hex hexagons. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Anyways, we've got missions over here. So, all missions, bog biome. Along came pollen. Well, I get, we're in the bog biome, like I said. So, I guess we'll have to do these missions over here. One to ten people, though. Well, I am in single player, so... I don't know how we could do that. Well, it says 1 to 10, so I guess we could do it as just one person then, huh? So I guess we could... Oh, God, 2,000 meters away. Jeez, these things are all, like, thousands of meters away. I don't know how I can get to all these things, you guys. Holy heck. Well, anyways, I guess we'll have to save that for another time. What is with these gigantic things? What if I could harvest these? Are these, like, a... Uh... Oh, I guess these are trees. Okay, well, we're getting thatch out of these. That's good. Uh, not getting any wood, though. We're just strictly getting thatch out of that. Okay, well, I guess I'll punch these, like, swamp-looking trees here. So I can get a little bit of... <laughs> Look at the big old Thanos over here! Like, we go from a tiny little ancient alien in my Ark Valgaro series all the way to... I still don't get it. Oh, here. Well, here's trees over here. I guess that was just the same thing, maybe? Uh, but we went from such a tiny little ancient alien to... Well, Thanos is a... It, he's an alien, too, but <laughs> he's a big old purple alien. There we go. We finally got a wood right there. There we go, a second piece of wood. Okay, there we go. Well, we gotta level up as well. I was actually kind of debating, like, am I going to import Danny DeVito into this game, or am I going to have a brand new character? And I decided, you know what? You know what? Let's just have a new character. So we got Thanos over here. Thanos, however you pronounce it. <laughs> so now we're just going to be memeing around with him. And, uh, yeah, I know you guys are looking at that butt right there. I guess Thanos doesn't do too many squats, does he? Anyways, we do have a level up, like I was saying. I, I guess I guess maybe we could do health right off the bat, just because why not? We're probably not going to have very good armor, or any armor at all, early on here, so might as well start out with that. I do have some mods installed right now, though. We have eight Engram points. Ooh. I do have all the mods that I have from uh, my Valgaro series, except for Primal Fear. So I still have Pugnacia. I don't know if it... Like, it is even compatible or anything like that, but we also have S+. Plus. We have, uh, like, the upgrade station. We have automated arc and all that kind of stuff. If you guys are interested... Oh, God, my skin turned, like, like, blue. <laughs> like, I'm supposed to look, like, purple, but I'm, like, all blue out here. I guess it's just the environment or something like that making me look, like, extremely, like, indigo blue or something like that. But there you go. Do I have enough uh, stuff to make, like, a, let's see, uh, a hatchet? Yeah, there you go. Let's, let's unlock the hatchet. I think you need to make a pick first, though. Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot that. Pfft. I forgot that, like, whatever mods I have installed, or maybe Ark just in general gives you the stuff right off the bat. I forgot. But uh, there you go. Oh, God, the UI seems really small for some reason. Let me see if I could fix that. There you go. I think that's a little bit better. But I, I don't know if it's any of my mods or what that <laughs> they give you the initial pickaxe and the hatchet, but uh, maybe it's Pugnacia. I don't know. But there you go. Oh, God, I don't want to accidentally hit this Parasiratherium and have it kill me. You know, get me some wood, though. We can probably make, like, a base or something like that. And then I, I guess we'll have to plan ahead to these, like, missions that the game is, like, giving us. Oh, these are fungal wood. Okay, well, I guess the only way to harvest them, I suppose, is with a the hatchet then, huh? 
Now, what is this Helena thing? Can I do something with this? It said I could use it to like scan dinos, exchange hex. I don't know why. Oh, what? Here's what I've got. Uh, okay. Well, we have like a shop over here with these hexagons. That well, I have negative one. I don't know if that's because I have a mod installed and it's like okay, no hexagons for you, <laughs> or if I actually do have to like earn them from doing those missions. It looked like. Does it look like one of them gives you like two thousand hexagons or something like that? So. Uh, let me see if I can interact with her again. Man, that, the screen is just shaking constantly. Let me get away from these big old dinos. Uh, let, let me cut down some more trees, too. That way we can make a base. I, I kind of want to skip a thatch base. I want to make a base out of, like, straight up wood. Or maybe even stone if I'm feeling extremely ambitious, you guys. <laughs> so let's, let's just make a little bit of a... There we go. Get, get a little bit of wood to make a, a wooden base or something like that. A wooden, like, just a shelter at first, you know? I don't know if I have enough uh, anger points, though, to get any of that. Well, look, I probably don't even have a high enough level to do it, though. Yeah, we have to start out with thatch, and then what level do we need to get to wood? Oh, gosh, it looks like we have to be... Yeah, we have to be level 11. Yeah, that's going to be a little while away. Okay, forget everything I just said. I guess we're going to have to start with thatch, then. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting really ahead of myself here, sheesh. But yeah, if we're using thatch, we might as well get uh, a bunch of thatch using the pickaxe, but there you go. That's not anything crazy out in ordinary just yet, like, it, like I saw earlier. Parasitic Theorem, I don't know, you look like a giraffe or something like that. I like the textures, but that's nothing crazy there. Trend on over here, we have a iguana on there in the background. Nothing insane. Uh, Parasaur over there in the background as well. Another level up right there. 104 wood right there, so that's awesome. I guess we'll do melee damage this time. That way we can harvest stuff and get a little bit more stuff from the trees and, and, and stone and whatever else I'll be harvesting. So, speaking of such, just continue getting a bunch of thatch and I guess just generally explore around. And see, like, if we could find anything that's new. Because I'm like, we're in a swamp right now. Uh, this is actually, like, really cloudy looking, too. Like, that's a big tree. I wonder if I could actually... I doubt I could cut that down. That big, massive tree over there. Yeah, this is definitely, like, a part of the environment. And it's not, like, <laughs> like destructible, I am pretty sure. Like, look at that giant thing. Like, it's even bigger than me, Thanos. I can't even Thanos snap that thing out of existence. Yeah, I, I don't even know if I can even get up to that. Actually, it looks like you can get into the, like, between the roots up there. Yeah, I can build my uh, shelter inside. That'd be pretty good. That'd be a pretty good landmark, too. That'd be pretty good if I'm, like, lost. I can just come back to one of these gigantic heckin' trees. Then I'll, uh, I'll know how to get back. Or I want to get a little bit of uh, fiber while I'm out here as well. There you go, get a little bit of fiber. 19 fiber right there, not bad. Then getting some berries as well, 27 fiber. That's pretty good. I haven't changed any of my, uh, my settings, by the way. Uh, so I have everything on like basically default, so we're, we're getting pretty good amount of stuff without me even having to uh, adjust anything, so that's great. Very nice. Well, let's see if we can make our way up to that. I don't know if there's like a day-night cycle in uh, Genesis. Kind of like how Extinction didn't have any uh, day-night, except for like inside the like mini arc pod things. <laughs> Those are the only things that actually had day or night. I think it's like permanently like twilight looking right now with the swamp environment that we're inside of. I don't know if I could actually get up to that. Like, I feel like I have to make, like, some sort of ladder to get up to that. Oh, there's crystal up there. Ooh, I wonder if there's metal. Hold on, I could probably go up this. I'm like, a, oh, 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 there's a muse. Oh, man, this is actually steeper. Well, that's good to know that we have crystal pretty close by, you guys. I wonder if I could actually tame one. I have not tamed one of these frog guys in, like, forever. Like, since the center or something like that. How do, can I pass? I don't think I could possibly tame it. I don't know if I want to try. Okay, yeah. Yeah, forget about that guy, at least right now. Jeez. Maybe I'll just build my house around that thing, rather than- Oh, God. Rather than, like, inside of it, so... Yeah, let's get a little bit more resources. We have a pretty good amount of, like, fiber and stuff, too, so I might as well see. Like, we have more anger points. Hey, look at that! They're not attacking me, so that's good. <laughs> but we have more, uh, anger points now. Yeah, we have to be level 4 to get anything. Ah, so I, I guess- I guess we'll just get some armors so of cloth, pants, shirt. Maybe, uh, maybe a water skin. Oh, should've got a spear. Whoops. Eh, not that big of a deal. Probably should've got a campfire, too, so I could actually cook some meat. <laughs> But there you go. Let's let's keep cutting down some trees and stuff. And we get a little bit of fiber because I do know that you need a pretty good amount of fiber for cloth stuff. And you're also going to need some hide as well. And I don't know if I don't know what should be our first creature to kill. Should it be a heckin' frog? I don't I don't I don't think that's a good idea. Maybe something like a, a parasaur or maybe an iguanodon. Well, then again, that thing could probably just run away from us. So I don't know if fighting an iguanodon would be. And of course, Brachio and Parasaur Theorem don't want to heckin' kill those things. <laughs> I'll get killed, like, in one shot. So I don't even want to try with those guys. What else can I do with this this Helena thing, though? Arrival protocol? That's okay, yeah, forget this. Yeah, I guess these are heckin' boss battles. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't want to. Oh, biome teleportation. Ooh. So I can teleport to different biomes. Arctic. Yeah, I don't want to go there. I don't think I'm prepared. Yeah, ocean. Don't want to go there either. Volcanic, very hard. Lunar, very hard. Yeah, there's like a heckin' moon biome. I know that. <laughs> so I guess, I guess this swamp is going to be our best bet, at least for right now, starting out. Because I, I am not prepared, like, armor-wise, like, hyperthermic, hypothermic wise oh here's the iguanon to like go to a volcanic or an arctic area so not even going to try that i'm pretty sure we're probably going to need like, like an oxygen suit or something like that to go to the moon biome <laughs> now what what if i wanted to get a level 86 iguanodon that's a pretty good high level though you guys i'm thinking about passively taming it so maybe i'll get some neo berries see if i can passively tame it there you go what was that 1.1.6 percent golly that's going to take quite a while to tame this thing sheesh what about like the pair or uh yeah, the par Parasaur. wonder where that guy is. Maybe I'll be able to tame that thing a little bit easier. I'm like, I can continue to get a bunch of berries around here. And oh, 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 there's some crystals I can immediately get, but I'm pretty sure I need metal, right? Or uh, yeah, a metal pick, I think. I forget. Can I get metal without it? Yeah, or uh, can I get crystal without it? I don't think so. Yeah, I think I do need a metal pick to get uh, crystal. But that's good to know. I don't need to actually be up there. Oh, wait. Can I parkour? Yeah, I don't think I can. I don't even think I can. Yeah, I can't even get on top of this rock right here. Jeez. Actually kind of surprising because I'm like heckin' 10 feet tall or something crazy. <laughs> but yeah, well, let's just keep going around. I'm like, if I... I'm about to level up. Yeah, I'm about to level up, so... Yeah, let's just keep on bashing on these things. There you go, another level up right there. That's good. Let's see. What am I going to do now? Another melee damage, maybe? maybe? I'm like, I don't have anything going on like hypo or hyperthermic. So I don't think I need fortitude. Craft a skill, probably don't need that just yet. Probably better to get, like, melee damage or health or something like that. Let's get another melee damage. There we go. That should be good. Let's, cut, let's keep cutting down this tree. There we go. We are level 4 now, right? Yeah, we're level 4, so let's get ourselves some heckin' thatch stuff. Thatch foundation. Let's get the S-plus version of it, too. Oh, no, there it is right there. S-plus thatch foundation. Nice. S-plus thatch wall. There you go. If you guys are wondering, what's S-plus? Well, it's easier to pick up and uh, place things down in S-plus because they kind of snap to each other. It's really nice. So, uh, oh, man, I don't have enough anger points to get that. Yeah. So... What can I get? I can get a door frame. I can get a sleep. You know what? Hide sleeping bag. I'm like, I'm right next to spawn, so I don't think I need that just yet, right? Cloth gloves, I'm making them get that. I have enough anger points to get that, though, but I do need hide for that. I need hide for that. I don't need hide for the hat, though, so I'll get the hat, so. No hide, no. Okay, so that's good. So we, we don't need any hide for any of the armor pieces that we unlock, so that's good. Let's see if we can actually make a full set. Boom. There we go. That's great. And uh, we can make ourselves some thatch foundations as well. There you go. Four thatch foundations. Nice. It's going to be a pretty good, like, starter base right there, you guys. Nice. Let's continue speaking of thatch. We just spent a bunch of thatch to start crafting all that stuff that's crafted in the background. So let's continue getting a bunch of more thatch right now. Uh, does she actually keep her progress? I think she did. Okay, I'm going to continue giving her meal berries then. There you go. Yeah, 3.2% right there. Nice. All right, let's continue, I guess, just passively taming her over time. Like, meal berries is going to be the best. Oh, God, is there, like, a supply drop or something? I thought there was because of lighting. Ch I wonder if they even have supply drops in this. Because I know in Extinction, they didn't have supply drops. They had like, oh, wait, no. There's something over there. I wonder if I can go. Oh, there's like a Dimorphin. Oh, can I? Was that a regular one or is that a? That is definitely some sort of modded Dimorphodon, I think. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is right there. Oh, what is it? Can I tame it? I want to. I, I just want to get close enough to see what it is. Pre or, or a prodigious Dimorphodon? It might be a modded one from Pugnacia, you guys. I don't know. At least it's not attacking me, but having a Dimorphon on, like, an actual... Oh, 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 I see the... Oh, I thought that was a supply drop in the background, but yeah. we, Yeah, there it is right there. You, you can see the, the beacon right there. Should we go all the way over there, though? Maybe... Oh, here it is right here. Yeah, it is a pr prodigious uh, Dimorphon. I need to be level 25, though, to tame it. Man. But there is a supply drop all the way over there. Should I go all the way over there? I don't know how to get back to where I am right now, though. So I don't know if going all the way over here would be the best bet. As I'm walking right under a gigantic Brachio slash Brano, whatever that is. Jeez. I guess I guess it'll be worth it, you guys. We're really early on in the series. I, I, if we get any... Oh, well, then again, we're probably not going to be high enough level to even unlock the supply drop. I don't Yeah, it's probably not even worth it, you guys. I guess that's good to know that... Oh, there's a raptor over there. I'm being targeted by an insect. What? Well, there's another supply drop over there. I'm being targeted by... Oh, no! I'm taking zero damage. I'm t oh, wait, my armor's done. Nice. Let's pick it up. Or, uh, there we go. Put it on. There you go. Uh, do I have any of that meme armor? I do. Okay, let's put that on then. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like, oh, we. 
I like I glow and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking zero damage from these bugs. I can't even see them. Where are they? What is he? Oh, there they are, I think. Yeah, I'm doing like 24 damage, I think. I don't know. It's killing my armor, I think. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's doing a little bit of damage to my armor. What is even hitting me right now? That? Oh, I'm getting some stone, though, so that's good. Yeah, I'm glad I'm using my hatchet right now. Man, look at me. I look absolutely stupid. I'm just floating purple hearts. <laughs> oh, man. Where is this bug? How do I get these, these insects swarm away from me? I'm out of stamina. I'm actually taking damage. I'm losing health. I am losing health. Oh my god, can I like not kill these things? <laughs> I'm actually gonna die from insects. Are you kidding me? No. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm, I'm stopping right now. I need to regen my stamina, but it's not coming back. Okay, okay. I am almost dead from these things. I'm just gonna keep swinging my hatchet. Hopefully kill whatever these bugs are. There they are right there. Get away. There we go. Level 78 insect swarm. I got some hide from killing insects. What? <laughs> Well, I got a level up right there, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually taking some torpidity as well. Holy heck. But yeah, I'm like, we have health now. We have armor now, so health, probably not the bet. Let's continue getting melee damage. There you go. Seems like that's a pretty good idea, you guys. So let's go back to where that Iguanodon was, and I guess continue trying to tame that thing. Then maybe here in the future, once we're higher level, and we actually have that thing tamed, we actually have a mount to ride around on it. Where was that big great tree? Was it over here? Because that was like our landmark to find the... Oh, there's another... I drop that away. Oh, there's metal at the top of that. Yeah, I don't know where it is, you guys. But yeah, once we have that Iguana Untamed, it's going to be an absolute fantastic mount, you guys, early on in the series like this. Like, it's going to be able to move around a lot. I, I thought, oh, God. Oh, that's just a, yeah, it's just an over I don't think I need to worry about that thing. Okay. Whew. Oh, there it is right there. I think that, I, I don't know if, oh, well, there's multiple Iguanas. Maybe we could find our lower level one. That Oh, is that an egg? Ooh, I think that's an egg. That is an egg, but it's not fertilized. Yeah, it doesn't look fertilized. Yeah, it's an iguana on egg. I'm not going to take it, though. What level is this one? 195. What's that? 0.8. Oh, my gosh. Literally half the taming that I did. Oh. 219. Okay. Man, these guys, I'm like, they're still higher level and stuff. Which I'm not complaining about, but like... Oh, man, there's a swarm, but there's a catch of swords over there, too. <gasps> Herazor. Level 94. I can't passively tame it, though, unfortunately. X- wait, x Parasaur. What? Yeah, look at that. It looks, like, weird. It's, like, got a weird, like, funky skin. Huh. Are these different Iguanons? No, this is just a regular Iguanon right there. wonder where the one I was taming earlier went. It's, like, gone. I wonder what you need to tame that Parasaur. Because I can't passively tame it right there. Is this the one I was taming earlier? 195? Well, I'm like, it was, but not the one I was thinking about. The one that did, like, point or 1.6 taming effectiveness per like meal berry but oh god that's a giant heckin log right there like mushrooms coming out of it too yeah i don't know where i was like a moment ago before i got distracted by that supply drop and i was like you know what you know what it's probably not the best idea to go into that supply drop but yeah I, I guess i'll just make my base like right here like we started making the foundations might as well place them down oh wait in the world oh it's a skin i thought i had an actual saddle in my inventory right there that would have been crazy but yeah i guess i'll place down my uh, my foundations over here so just place them down there you go a decently sized base here and uh let's get some walls going as well so let's see how many can i make i don't know let's get like five of those or uh oh i need fiber yeah i have literally everything's in my inventory I, <laughs> i'm so used to have like resource pulling things into my inventory but yeah we're just missing some fiber so let's get a little bit of fiber from all these things over here and thankfully at the same time with us harvesting some fiber we're getting ourselves some more berries and stuff that we could use to harvest other creatures so maybe in the future if we're lucky enough i'm like we, we should probably honestly probably start out with something lower level like, low level and easier to tame. But I, I just can't find them because everything I have is, like, high level now because of my heckin' mods. Sheesh. Well, I have more uh, fiber now, so I should be able to make at least some walls, right? Uh, 12 walls! Oh my gosh, that's actually more than I need. Okay, let's do... <laughs> I need only, like, 8 walls or something like that, so there's 1, 2, 3, blah, 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 let's go up to 7. There you go, 7 walls, and I guess I could make, a, like, a ceiling or something crazy. Thatch ceiling. Uh, there you go, unlock that, nice. Suicide Assistance Tonic. What? Uh, it will cure me of having a health bar. <laughs> Alright, well, that, that sounds helpful in certain situations, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, let's go back to our quote-unquote base. And let's uh, place down the walls that we're crafting right now. And get our, Oh, yeah, and I should have made a doorway. Whoops. Forgot about that. Should've, I'm like, I saw I could have unlocked it earlier, but... There you go. I don't know which way I should make this face, honestly. Uh, let's see. I'm not done just yet, but... 
Or actually, I think I am. Yeah, I just finished right there, so yeah. Let's make the... I, I like I leveled up again, so let's see if... Can I even make the doorway? Uh, I can. There it is right there, S+. Plus, and I can... I cannot even get the door, but I do have a level up, so I can get another... Uh, let's get another melee damage. There we go. So I do have uh, more anchor points now, so I can get a door. Uh, well, oh my, by the way. Not enough to get wood, though, unfortunately, so that sucks. There you go. More thatch right there. Let's make the, uh, the thatch doorway. I might as well just... Uh, there you go. And the thatch door. There you go. And uh, I guess I can get some ceilings as well. I can get two ceilings. Nice. So uh, I guess I'll get rid of... What would be the easiest? I guess right here, probably. Yeah, let's get rid of this one. Pick up this wall. Hey, you know what? Let's demolish it. Get a little bit of stuff back. There you go. Not like I'm going to be making this like two stories tall anyway, so there you go. Make that face outwards. Place our door down as well. And start placing down some ceilings here, you guys. I just need to make two more. Man, this is going to feel extremely claustrophobic with my... Yeah, look at this. My head is going to be peeking over... Well, it's like it's actually touching the roof. <laughs> well, I need to get a little, little bit more, what, like fiber or something like that. And I'll be able to make uh, two more ceilings and get that nice and finished. Also need to get a campfire. Do I have enough anchor points for that? I might. I have seven anchor points. Uh, oh, there it is right there. Campfire, nice. So let's get that. Let's get a spear. Definitely do need a heppin, heckin' weapon. Heppin. <laughs> I need a heckin' weapon, too. So there you go. Get some Narka Berries fiber. And I kind of want to... Maybe I'll make it like a... I'm like, I do have fire, uh, uh, hide now, right? Yeah, I have eight hide. How much do I need for that? Uh, that Well, sleeping bag is a one-time thing, though, right? Yeah. I don't think I want to make a sleeping bag if it's just a one-time thing. 25... If I die, I'll just spawn, like, right here anyways, right? So, uh, yeah, I don't think I need to make a sleeping bag, so... Kind of want to make a beeline to one of those mission things and at least check out what these things are. Bog Rally. Yeah, look at this. They're, like, mini games and stuff. Race along the bog... What is outside? Is there something outside that's going to kill me? Or was it that dimor... That dimor was it that dimorphin? I don't know. Here's something outside, though. Look at me glowing like the heckin' sun. <laughs> oh, man, there's a... I forgot what those things were called again, those, like, boars. Man, if I get attacked by one of those things, that is it. Yeah, I don't know what that's... Oh, wait, there it is right there. Oh, it's an overactor. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's the, uh... That's the iguana we were taming earlier. It did, like, 8%, 0.8% or something like that, right? No, 0.7. Golly, that's even high. Level 219, though, so it's a pretty good high level, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't have the patience to... Slowly tame that thing like that, golly. If anything, I'll, I'll have to knock out tame it. I'll have to make it like a slingshot or something like that. Can I even unlock that? I don't even have enough anger points, but... Am I, oh, yeah, I am. Wait, slingshot, what? Slingshot plus? I don't even have enough to get the regular one. What? That must, yeah, that's from Rapid Weapons Plus, so... Uh, simple range thing requires stone to fire. That didn't require any anger points right there. What? I'm like, I'm not complaining. Oh, I can even make it in my inventory. Nice. Oh, it requires some high... More fiber, though. Let's see. Hold on. Slingshot. Pugnacious slingshot. Well, they all require hide. This one requires five hide, so... Yeah, it's a little bit more expensive, but didn't require any ingram points, which was weird. <laughs> I guess I'll get a little bit of uh, more fiber, and I'll, I'll be able to craft that thing. That weapons plus slingshot. Maybe it's going to be a little bit more effective, perhaps. I'm mean, like, it is colored blue, just like me, right? Purple blue-ish. <laughs> Uh, need a little bit more fiber. Okay. Need about nine more fiber. So let's continue getting some fiber. Thankfully, we buy a bunch of heckin' plants and stuff like that, and we get like a trillion fiber. Yeah, we have enough fiber now. So there we go. Now we got the slingshot. Slingshot plus, that is. There we go. All right, let's see. So I have some stones in my inventory. And, uh, can I make a spear yet? I cannot. Oh, yeah, I need flint. So yeah, let's go harvest the, the pickaxe. There you go. A little bit of flint. I can make a spear now. So there you go. <laughs> if I want to stab something real quick. So let's put that there. Put the slingshot on number four and put the spear on number two. There you go, nice. All right, well, let's make the... Can I make the campfire now? I cannot. I need... Yeah, I need more flint and more stone and... Wait, what? Oh, God! The heckin' de the Deodon, that's what it's called. Deodon is attacking the egg. Oh, God! I'm about to die. I'm getting away. I'm, g I'm going inside of my base. Oh, man! I am inside of my base now! Yeah, keep keep attacking the Iguanodon. Oh, is it bloody? I can't even tell. I'm like, I can't tell, because I'll have, I'll have a spyglass, but I'm staying inside of my base. Get away from me, Deodon Trash. Let's get some more thatch ceilings, you guys. Let's Martha Stewart this place up. <laughs> As there's heckin' battle going on outside, I can't leave my heckin' house. Oh, man, let's get another ceiling. There we go. Hey! Wait, oh, God, the, the Iguanodon's almost dead. Oh, man, that might actually be a good thing. If we get, Oh, well, the Deodon's probably going to harvest this dead body, though. Hmm. I'm thinking right now, can I... Ah, I can't make like a... 
Oh god, it, yeah, I just harvested it right there. Oh god, it's coming over here. It's going to destroy my base. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh god. Oh Jesus, doing damage. Oh no, my, my spear broke and I didn't even hit anything? What? Oh god. That is it. My base. I am gone. The series is ending right now. You got. Oh. Oh no. Uh oh. It is breaking into my base. That is bad news, bears. I am gone. I am gone. It just broke through my thatch base. Are you kidding me? It's still attacking it. Oh, is it distracted? Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Thanos, I will Thanos snap you. Oh, God, it followed me up here. No, no, it's going to heal itself up. It has like a thou. Oh, God. Oh, I can attack. Oh, oh advantageous position. Wait, if I had a spit. Man, man. Oh, slingshot. Sl Wait, it takes two stone at a time. I was attacking my base again. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. Wait, what? In the <laughs> Be more careful. Oh, my God. I died for the di Dan on level 31, though. Let me respawn at the random location. I think it's supposed to show me like a beacon whenever I can die. So, oh, God. What in the world? That's all right. Go bouncing back. Oh, yep, I sure am. Now, where in the world was... I am completely lost. Is this the tree that I was at earlier? I don't know where my death point is, you guys. <laughs> I lost a ton of progress there. Where, oh, wait, is that... No, that's... Oh, there it is right there. I was wondering. That, yeah, that's a supply drop. Okay. Yeah, I went further away than I thought. Holy heck. I thought I went, like, that direction or something like that, but I guess I went this way then. Well, anyways, yeah, if we go back, there's still going to be that dead on, so... Unless it randomly despawned. I would be lucky if that's the case. Oh, man. No, oh, I see it. Man. It's still hunting around. Look at my heckin' destroyed base. It, it ate half of my base. Oh, whoops. It ate half of my base. I'm like, that's not really saying much, but still. I don't know where it is. But I just need to get back to my stuff. I don't know where it is. I'm not seeing it, but... Whoa! Look at that dead... Ew! That thing is disgusting. Destroy the corpse. There we go. Let me get my stuff back. There we go. Man, I had a bunch of stuff for how early I am. Well, a lot of it was like... Let me drop Let me drop the skins. I don't need that garbage. And drop all that trash. Let me put my armor back on there. There you go. And, uh... Oh, man, we have another hatchet and pickaxe, too. Nice. And, uh... Yeah, get rid of the costumes and stuff. Mini Helena skin. Hey! I could put that on a shield. Ooh! Hold on. Oh, wait, no, there, wait. Wait, where is that thing? What is that, uh... Helena could be equipped to the shield, or attached to an existing shield. Wait, uh... Oh, God! Oh, that was a tree. I thought that was, like, a giant swarm of bugs in the background. Holy egg. Yeah, I don't know what that, uh... I don't know what the Helena thing was, but, yeah, I'm getting rid of all that trash. I don't need that. It's just gonna stack up and up and up. But I kind of want to go to one of those things. Oh, man. Yeah, it actually did eat, like, half my base, but... <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I ate two foundations, a bunch of walls, and uh, two ceilings there. Well, one, because I had only three ceiling things. But yeah, I kind of want to go to one of the mission things and see what that's about. Dodo ball? Shooting hoops just like on a play? What? Well, I get 450 uh, things. Well, one player. You know what? 2,400. Golly, that's far away. That is really far away, you guys. Long came pollen. Do I want to do the basketball meme? Is that really it? Just mini games? <laughs> High quality. Okay, so yeah, track down some high quality pollen while avoiding toxic pollen and defending yourself from territorial creatures. Interesting. So, yeah, these are interesting looking min missions here. So, 2000. Golly, I guess I'll do this one. Track mission. Is that going to be like a waypoint that I have to follow? Oh, it is. Ooh. Oh, man, this is going to take me a billion years. I might as well just take my stuff back, you guys. <laughs> I might as well just pick up my and wall. I might as well just take everything with me. Here we go, just have like a portable base. Yeah, forget the heck and whatever this place is. I am grabbing all this stuff, and I am I am making my way to this heckin' dodo basketball meme, and we are gonna have some fun. <laughs> is that really what it was? Did I misread something? Yeah, dodo ball shot clock. Shooting ho it literally says shooting hoops. Just like on a playground. Only there's a dodo instead of a ball. Yeah, look at this. We're throwing a heckin' dodo into a basketball hoop? Or whatever would be in this game. 
<laughs> Ignore the dodo's complaints and score 10 points before the timer runs out. Hey, if the dodo doesn't like it, it should have learned to fly. <laughs> okay, well, 450 of those those hexagon things. That seems pretty good. And we could use those hexagons as we saw earlier in like this weird store feature. What was that again? Exchange. Yeah, here it is right here. Oh, God. Well, 450. Oh, man, we could almost get a cryopod for that. Hmm. What could I... What would I want? Oh man, black pearls. Oh, a, a black pearl for 650. Fitness, eh, this could be convenient. If I have like a bunch of these and I just want to buy something, you know? Rare mushrooms, rare flowers and stuff. This could be pretty good. Sap? That could be, I don't know where we go. Element for 2,000, one element. A little bit of crit. What about like, met, yeah, met, you can get 10 metal for 150. We can get a little bit, pretty decent amount of metal right there. And then there's like these loot crates over here for 10,000, 25,000, 45,000. Drops a random assortment of gear, so it must, it better be good after that, right? Golly. Well, at least it tells you, like, what the weight is before and after, uh... Nothing looks good. Well, it does look good, but I can't heckin' afford anything, because I have negative one, uh, hexagon things, so that sucks. Yeah, I don't know if that's with my mods or what. I might have to, like, like, uninstall my mods for that, like, system to work, or wait for the mods to, like, update and be compatible or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, I, I don't know about that like shop thing if I'll ever be able to use that. But we might as well go heck and shoot some dodos into a basketball hoop. Let's make our way over to the dodo ball shot clock. Oh god, I'm getting attacked. Oh god. If we're getting attacked again, I am going to kill. I'm going to look at how stupid I look. Oh, I'm growing like a beard and stuff too. <laughs> oh, but I, oh, oh, out of stamina. Yeah, I'll probably end up upgrading stamina. Like, we've been running out of stamina like multiple times. Oh, more iguanas over there. I don't know what level those ones are, but, uh, oh god. Getting chased by more bugs, but I'm going this way. Oh, the, uh, Styracosaurus or something right there. Or, no, it's a, uh, pack, yeah, pack of rhinosaurs. Yeah, it's different. Ah, oh, man, it, it's gonna take us forever to get to this 2,000 meters away. I'm like, we've traveled a, yeah, a couple hundred already, it feels like. Tentrosaurus right there, yeah, I better stay away from that. At least it'll give us an excuse to kind of explore around a bit, you guys, and... Not just, like, hunker down and, like, lay down an anchor and stay around in that one area for, like, the first two or three episodes of the series or whatever I would normally do. At least it's kind of giving us an excuse to, to go, oh god. What is that? Oh, it's a carno. Yeah, I'm staying away from that. Okay, let's keep going this way, you guys. I'm actually kind of, like, up on care weight right now. Like, I'm at, I'm at like, halfway. I need to be very careful, very vigilant of the nearby creep. Oh, a stego. Wonder what level that is. I might be able to tame that. I don't know what level I need to be to passively t level seventy though. Yeah, I think I can passively tame that. Unfortunately, yeah, I pretty much like never. Oh god, there's like a cliff. Is this like a big drop? Eh, it's a decent sized drop. I'll probably die if I fall from that. <laughs> I need to watch out. Yeah, this place is like it is like extremely foggy. And there's another supply drop over there. I I don't know if I want to like veer off path towards the supply drop. Oh, metal, nice. But I can, oh, wait, I can get it, right? Yeah, because this is stone. Entered mission area? What? But we just have, like, a lower chance to actually get... Yeah, look at that. We got two metal right there. But yeah, we have a lower chance of getting the, uh, the the metal now because it's just a stone pick. But that's good. We're actually getting metal, like, pretty early on right now, you guys. That's good. But what is this mission area? Maybe I'll check my, like, mission things and see if I'm, like, close to a different mission that's not the heckin' dodo basketball meme. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. Entering mission area. I'm in a mission area right now, apparently. No, it doesn't say anything. Uh, well, what if I go to all missions? Sort by distance. Yeah, literally the closest thing to me is 1,700 heckin' meters away. Well, these things are, like, way too far away. It doesn't even show me how far away it is. I guess it only goes up to, like, 3,500 meters and then it just stops even bothering. <laughs> we have to go all the way to, like, the art. Wait, hold on. One tough motor? I guess that's, like, the furthest thing that's possible from us right now, huh? Yeah, what is that down there? Yeah, mission area. You are not able- What? Okay, I'm not able to build within the mission area. But I can destroy stuff, I guess. Huh. So that's good. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, speaking of destroying, just destroy that heck of metal. How much did I get from that, though? 11 metal? Not bad. Alright, well, kind of want to- Yeah, 1,700 meters away. Like, we're slowly closing in on that right there, you guys. Like, it was like, what, 2300 or something like that just not too long ago? I did make a pit stop right here, though, to gather some of this metal just because I'm like, we haven't seen any mineral-rich rocks like this at all until now. Well, we have, but we were unable to actually get to the- Oh, yeah, see, by these trees! Yeah, inside- Yeah, see, this is inside the tree! 
This would make a really good spot for a base. Maybe in the future. Because I don't want to... I don't want to... Like I said, I don't want to hunker down just yet. I want to lay an anchor down. Just yet, because we have... We have a mission ahead of us, you guys. We need to go play some Agadodo basketball. How much metal do I have now? I have 11 metal. Like, metal ingots after I smelt that, so... Yeah. I, uh, that should be fine, at least for right now. Let's gather some stamina. Let's keep heading towards the Dota Ball shot clock thing. And I kind of want to do that before we end episode one, you guys, because <laughs> that seems like the stupidest thing to possibly do in Ark. I would not... We don't even have a... Uh, boots right now or uh shoes we do have uh some hide so we can't afford it i just don't have i need another level up though how many uh, how much hide do i need for the boots six four so i guess glo gloves would be a little bit cheaper than uh another uh pack of rhinosaurs down there in a pair of certifurium. thankfully it isn't anything that's going to be particularly deadly to us as long as we just kind of leave them alone right we have a drop right here i might as well try and Lessen the fall by going or oh you know what I could make a torch too. Do I make it? Can I make a torch? Do I even unlock it? I don't even think I unlocked the torch. You kidding me? Uh hold on, I might have passed it. Actually it might have uh it might be like a free thing. Yeah, I think I might already have it unlocked, you guys. Uh oh yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, just one flint. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. How do I not have a flint? Must have dropped it while making the or must have uh Used them while making the spears and stuff like that earlier. Yeah, there you go. We have the we have the torch now, so that's good. Let's definitely use the torch. And remember, we can actually damage things with it. We can like light them on fire or something crazy, right? There you go. Uh, actually, put that on like number five. Sure, why not? Yeah, we can light it up a little bit. Oh god, yeah, look at this. And we can also uh, up the gamma too by doing that too. Yeah, remember we could uh, adjust the gamma, so that's good. Definitely want to watch out for that here in the future, you guys. But yeah, let's keep going around now. Oh man, look at this lighting effects around my purple skin. This is looking crazy. Thanos is looking heckin'. Look at that. Mm. Slurp him up. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. We're at like 1,600 meters away. It's going down about, uh, I don't know, like 10 meters per second or something like that. that that's not too bad. It's actually pretty fast. Oh, God. Okay, it's not attacking me. That's good. It was like level 215 or something. Oh, God. Titanium murmurs. I'm like one, the one part of the game. Oh, God. Now I'm out of stamina. Then I need to actually watch out for Titanium murmurs and whatever the swarms were that we got attacked by earlier. I'm seeing more metal ahead of us as well, which is good. I see anything crazy right now, so I'm thinking about doing the first pause of the recording of the series. And if anything interesting happens along the way, I'll let you guys know, but let me just pause real quick and continue heading towards this heckin' Dodo basketball meme. <laughs> and I'll see you guys here in a bit. If anything interesting happens along the way, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Oh my god. Okay, you guys. Um, I'm, I'm about 300 meters away. Pretty close. We might even find it without me having to pause again. But I am... Oh, enter... Yeah, that makes sense. Enter mission area. What is this? Pulsating... Thing. Ooh, oh, it's like... Oh, is that like poisonous? I don't know. It might... Uh, oh, man, we're only 200 meters away. Yeah, we're getting to this place pretty quickly, you guys. I don't know what to do about that. I kind of want to keep my distance. Thankfully, I haven't got, I'm like, I came across some raptors. And of course, we saw that one co Oh, there's another one there in the background. And there's a catcher swords right there. As long as we don't get a tell. Is this it? Oh, God, those are basket. <laughs> oh, no, I'm getting attacked by the. No, I better not. I better not die from the swarm. Right when I get to this heckin' basketball court. It actually is a basketball. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my God, look at that. There's like a heckin' basketball. Oh, God. My torch is actually taking some damage right now, but we're doing 100 damage, 9 damage. I'm tired right now, though. Oh, God. Well, I kill oh, nice. I killed it. And we got a level up. Level 31, and it killed my heckin' torch, unfortunately. <laughs> but what in the world is this? It's like a... It's like a vine or something like that. Like, roots? In the shape of a basketball court? Or a basketball hoop? Hey, a dung beetle. I don't think I saw these guys here yet. That's pretty cool. What is this? Is that the dead body of the swarm? It might be. Hold on. If I harvest it, I should get hide, right? I'm not getting anything from it. Uh, okay. Whatever. Here's the actual thing. Dodo shot clock. I do have a level up. Yeah, let's do stamina this time. There you go. So what is this? Access inventory? Is this a... No. Oh, do I... Sh I still have Shenron over. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Start mission? Start... Yeah, there's like start mission for like 10 things, though. Uh, which one did I... 
Because I know one of them looked like you had to have, like, multiple people or something like that. Oh, yeah, this one that I have selected only requires one person. That's good. So, Dodo Ball Shot Clock Gamma Beta Alpha. We could just do with just... Okay. Let's do Gamma, then. Yep, there it is right there. Gamma. Mission initiated. Ooh. What do I do now? Time remaining, about five minutes. Oh, God! There's the Dodo! Is that the ball? Is that the ball? Am I supposed to get it in the hoop? A <laughs> I might have to. Hold on. How do you get the dodo? How do you throw it again? Oh, there we go. I got it. Did I get it? That didn't work. That didn't count. I'm actually pay playing basketball with egg and dodo right now. Are you kidding me? Is this the no, that's, yeah, that's glowing red. This might be the wrong. Oh, yeah. You're literally thrown into the wrong egg thing. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. What does this look like? It's oh, my gosh. Well, Thanos. Well, the I thought Thanos would be a little bit bigger. But, yeah, this dodo seems pretty heckin' huge. How do I do it again? Oh, there you go. Did I do it? There go. Oh, got it! Two points! Oh, I need to get ten points. Yeah, you need to get, like, ten points or something like that before the time runs out. We rent that about, uh, this thing earlier. Let's see, you need another two points. Another two points right there. Nice. Oh, wait, no, that's three! Ooh! Hold on, what if I, what if I shot from, like, all the way over? <laughs> oh, I can't even, oh, man, I can't even shoot from all the way over there, unfortunately. Okay, let's... Oh! Oh, man, I missed. Oh, man. Let's see if we can get it from, like, oh. Like, oh, yeah, I'm holding the Dota right now, yeah, yeah. Man, missed. You know what? Forget about aiming for the size. Let's just keep going straight ahead like that. Oh, God, is that a Dilophosaurus? Oh, God, it is. Well, I don't really have that good of weapons if it, if it aggro's on me. Wait, can they even aggro on you in the middle of a heckin' thing like this? Maybe not. I don't know. Let me keep... <laughs> what am I doing? This is, this is Arc Genesis, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing heckin' basketball with a dodo. That is what this game has become. <laughs> There you go, another three more. Time's up, Survivor. Yep, we hit a level. Wait, no. Time's not up. Oh, God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No way. Ooh. That's awesome. We get we get stuff. Wait, what? Why is there like a, a, a do not enter symbol there? What? Well, we got good armor right there. We got primitive flak. That's awesome. Oh, wait, we should have got, uh, yeah, I didn't get any. Wait, what? Yeah, I should have got 450 of those things. I didn't get anything. I'm thinking about uninstalling my mods, you guys, and, and, and is this a mission? Uh, I, I want to build a, a heckin' base or something like that, like near this. But I don't, I don't. Hold on. Man, there's so many things I'm thinking about right now, you guys. Yeah, I can't build around here because it's, oh, God. Oh, I guess this shows the mission areas. Yeah, I am really far into the mission area right now then, huh? Yeah, you can see they're, they're glowing right there. Yeah, look at that. Can't place in the, a stretcher here, and it's, like, showing all the heckin' blocks around here, so. Golly. Like, where's the furthest I can go away from this, this dodo ball thing and build a base? Like, I I, I want to come back here and, like, have this as, like, a... I'm like, I guess, if anything... I'll probably go that way, then, huh? Yeah, I guess we'll have to go that way if I want to build a base. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I guess what we could do is, like, if I do die, I could just use the heckin' dodo ball, like, that thing. <laughs> as, like, a heckin', like, a way to navigate around and try and find my base. At least early on, huh? Oh god, well there's a raptor right there. Oh god, no! No! Speaking of the heckin' devil! Speaking of the heckin' devil! Get out of here! Be gone, thee! Be gone! No! No, I died! I knew it! I knew that was gonna happen! Golly! How far away am I? God, oh, man. Well, yeah, there's like only like a certain amount of heckin' respawn points here, unfortunately. Yeah, look at that, I went from like right there all the way to there. Man, that took like a trillion years. Well, not, honestly, not too long. Where's this going to take us? Well, we have to spawn in through this way again. Struth, that was a tough one. 2,500 meters? Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, well, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on the YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. I'm not traveling another heckin' 2,500 meters away just to go back to where we just were, you guys. I kind of want to do a little bit of myth-busting as well off-camera to, uh, like, uninstall the mods that I have installed right now and, and, and see, like, are we going to have, like, a negative one, like, hexagon meme still or, or what? Oh, yeah, we lost the heckin' the good armor that we won from doing the basketball, too. That sucks. Man... Well, honestly, these mission things are actually pretty heckin' good for, uh, like, early on, you know, getting some good loot. Like, look at that. Like, the I don't even know how much metal you need 
to get like primitive flak leggings like that, you guys. I guess I could. Oh uh, yeah, I can't check because I don't have enough. Uh, actually, I might be able to. Hold on. Uh, cause I, yeah, even hovering over like a blackened out thing. Yeah, I need to be level fifty for that. Fifty or fifty-six. I don't know which one. I might. That might be armor plus. That I was looking at just a moment ago. But yeah, speaking of armor plus, I'm going to have to uninstall that. Just cause I don't know if that's interfering with my heckin' game. <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's going to be the episode for right now. D didn't really get too much done on episode one. Very different from uh, all the other art series thus far. Like there's heckin' missions and stuff. There's heckin' like loot boxes and a store. Biome teleportation though. Yeah, we saw that earlier. I didn't want to teleport anywhere, but I guess at the end of the episode we can go to teleport to Arctic. Oh god. Oh oh, hold on. Uh, biome teleport. What if we did bog northeast? That's where I need to go, right? That might actually save me a little bit of time going towards the heckin' dodo thing, right? Because I think according to the map, yeah, we just need to keep heading east. Which I guess would be northeast of the bog part of the map then, huh? So let's keep going that way. What in the world's going on right now? Is this supposed Oh, yeah, I think it's just like, yeah, just like teleporting you to the boss battle. You have to like close at the top and then it'll teleport you, I guess, huh? So it's going to be taking us to the dodo bowl. Here we go. Oh. Wait, what? No. Wait. Oh, God. Teleporting always makes me a bit dizzy. Oh. We're only 200. A, hey! And that's where I died over there. Okay. Look at that. So we can just teleport around the map like that. I think we'd like. Oh, God. Well, there, yeah, that's the thing that I saw earlier. Yeah. I think I can see. Yeah, you can see the basketball hoops in the background. Yeah, the, see, this is like, look, look at that, we just traveled like 50 meters and I wasn't even thinking. <laughs> I'm like, what am I thinking, right, golly? But yeah, we made our way back over here like super duper quickly, you guys. Holy heck. I guess I could, oh god, dead body. <gasps> dead Dilo. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, hold on. I have stuff on me right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get some hide. Boom. Cheese in that. He done nine hide right there. Nine. But yeah, let's go grab our heckin' stuff. Grab our, like, primitive flak leggings and whatever other trash I was wearing. I actually survived that raptor attack pretty long. Like, uh, that, that armor actually soaked up a pretty good amount of hits right there, you guys. Holy heck. But yeah, I, I guess I have to get used to this, like, teleportation, like, system that we have. What else do we have here? Set verbosity. Verbosity. How often I talk. Mission area. Ooh! Oh, yeah, well, we could have seen that earlier with the, uh... With the, uh, Oh, God, what is this one? Compact mode on. Only visible when necessary. Ooh. Eh, I'll leave her out for right now. Pretty sure that raptor's nearby still. But yeah, things are definitely different, you guys, at least compared to my ever uh, other arc series. I know the Dilo over there we can kill and get a little bit of hide from. Like, we've got these, like, missions. We could actually get some loot by doing these weird missions. Uh, maybe, you know what? Oh, can I not harvest my dead body by doing that? Okay, destroy corpse, yeah. I guess it's, uh... Oh, there's nothing in there, okay. <laughs> but yeah, now we've, now we've got the... Oh, God, yeah, we have the... I need to remember to use that heckin' slingshot, you guys. We probably have some pretty good, uh... Like, chance of actually knocking stuff out with that. That'd be good. Uh, where's my armor though? Oh, there it is. There you go. Nice. So how much armor do we, rating do we have? We have 145 armor rating right off the bat. 125 of which is from that primitive flak. Nice. And it has good durability. Only took 10 damage from that raptor attack. That's good. Man. Things are off to a, a, a weird start, honestly. Like good and bad. <laughs> thus far here in our Genesis, you guys. Very interesting stuff thus far. Oh god, another dialer right there. You know what? Let's kill it. Level 31. Let's kill this heckin' piece of trash. Actually, I might have been able to knock it out. You know what? You know what? The next one we see, knock it out. Oh, man. I actually knocked it out right there. You know what? I need to hide anyway, so. There. You can just get more armor. Oh, I wonder if I could redo the missions over and over again and just get a bunch of armor that way. Like, how hard is it to play heckin' basketball with a dodo? <laughs> like, you can just keep constantly just gr literally just grind this thing and just eventually just get a bunch of armor. Or is it always going to give me primitive flak leggings? I don't, well, I guess if that's the case, I could always break it down and get some heckin' base materials out of it then, right? But, either way, yeah, I am I am continuing on. I need I need to stop. I need to end the episode. <laughs> Eventually, right? So I might as well end it right now. I already did the outro, so thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. If you guys want more of these awesome videos, hit the subscribe button. You guys know the deal. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Art Genesis, where I guess we're going to continue adventuring around. Maybe do some more of those weird missions. Maybe I want to uninstall my mods and see if the weird, like, hexagon currency system works properly then. And I guess if that's the case, I guess we won't have any mods for this series, huh? Or at least maybe I'll single out which specific mod is, like, doing that. And maybe we'll just won't have that mod. I I I'll figure it out off camera between this episode and next episode. But like I said earlier, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Arc Genesis. Over here!
Are you here, mate? Oh, God. What the? Hey, you. Oh, man. She's going to be talking. To oh, I wonder if I could hide her and then they do my outro more properly. There we go. Oh, oh bye. Uh, what? She still pops in and in her. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to do another second thing it is for my outro and intro. What am I going to do? Salute? Is that what I can do? Let's see. Standing by. Oh my god, she's. She pops in to heck and get the atten Turkey? Snowball. Oh my god. Okay, that's going to be my new outro, you guys. <laughs> so thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next time with some more Art Genesis. Oh, bye there. Jeez, this series is something else. Whoa.